And we begin tonight with breaking news on a deadly train derailment we've been tracking all day long. Authorities now say at least six people are confirmed dead, many more injured, following this morning's horrific Amtrak crash near Tacoma, Washington. 78 passengers and five crew members were on board this morning when multiple train cars somehow tumbled off the tracks and then plunged onto the street below. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now with breaking details on the investigation. Caroline. Shannon and Mike, the Amtrak Cascades train was making its inaugural run out of a new station in Tacoma this morning when disaster struck. We now know 13 cars jumped the tracks, leaving cars dangling off an overpass and others onto the interstate below. Triage tents were set up at the scene to treat injured passengers and motorists. And right now, nearly seven hours later, rescuers are still trying to pull people from these overturned train cars. New tonight, we're hearing from a passenger who was on board when the trains went off the tracks. And then all of a sudden, I just feel a whole bunch of like turning and rocking of the train. And um, I just grabbed onto the chair in front of me for dear life. My laptop went flying, my phone went flying. It was all the way at the other end. People were screaming. It was crazy. We felt a little bit of a jolt, and then at a certain point, the uh, we we could hear um, a crumpling of the of the of the train car, and we were uh, catapulted into the seats in front of us. And this afternoon, President Donald Trump addressed the derailment, saying his thoughts and prayers are with those affected and calling for nationwide infrastructure improvements. Now, there is no word tonight from investigators on whether faulty infrastructure played a role in this derailment. A team of NTSB investigators is on its way to the scene to determine what exactly went wrong. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline, and you can count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this deadly derailment. We'll be tracking the rescue operation and the investigation as it unfolds, and we'll bring you any major developments as we learn them both on air and online.